what to do about edge computing. That's one of the pressing questions facing telcos right now. I'm talking with Ian Hood. He's chief technologist at Red Hat about this key topic. So Ian, do you think telcos are where they should be at in terms of their edge compute strategies and rollouts? Uh, well, thanks, Ray. The uh, telcos, in some cases, they're actually you know in the right place. They've got um, dual strategies, if you will. Um, some to actually build out what I call the um, strategy for doing things at the edge on top of their um, 5G highways, as well as the ability to actually go deliver directly to the enterprise. But many of them are still you know, sort of struggling with how do they actually go about building this out on top of their 5G? Who do they partner with? Um, all of these things kind of make it challenging for some of the other operators. So in some cases, they're well ahead on their way, and others are still um, trying to really drive their 5G rollouts. Um, and haven't really solved their uh, edge computing strategies as well. Okay. And are there broader challenges for, for the technology and networking industry uh, at a much uh, bigger level? Uh, are we ready for an ecosystem effort here that can help the telcos with their edge strategies? Um, this is really one of the key things that's important is the fact that there are many more partners coming to play as we build out these types of applications on top of this 5G highway. Different applications for the oil and gas industry, for the healthcare industry, um, different regulations that have to be dealt with. So a much larger set of partners are in play, and therefore those applications need to be able to be run in a secure fashion on top of a consistent platform in a distributed architecture across 5G. So these are the things that are important to kind of look at we need to have standards bodies that actually make these APIs possible to do so, um, as well as the ability to change the processes by which we actually deliver these capabilities in a SaaS model you know, and change the business model so that that can be done. So you, you mentioned there that, that sort of broader platform. Uh, in conversations about edge computing, edge services in the telecoms industry, is there enough emphasis on, on the building of this distributed cloud platform, you know, developing a, a horizontal platform for, for services innovation? Because that, that angle seems to be lost sometimes. So that's a, that's a great question, uh, Ray. So that's a strategy that we are, are driving our customers is to a horizontal platform, both in their data center and distributed to the edges, because that gives them the option for innovation at all layers across the entire um, ecosystem. And rather than being locked into proprietary technologies at any part of the stack, be it down the hardware layers, be it up on the application layers, even the APIs that they use to interconnect for on-premise um, to the hyperscalers. This is really something that is quite important, um, but the industry hasn't completely opened up all of those capabilities. And therefore, it's making it difficult for the telcos to you know, choose their partners so they can have an open you know, approach with APIs they need to you know, manage these capabilities, operationalize the applications, and deliver the services that the enterprises actually need at the right cost point. So this is really a ongoing challenge to you know, open up that distributed architecture and give that um, freedom and flexibility of choice to secure and control the applications and secure their delivery um, wherever they might be on premise or in the um, public cloud as well. Okay. And, and then for the, for the telcos, for the network operators that are still maybe at the early stages of, of their rollouts and still determining their strategies, uh, should they wait, do you think, and maybe see what the, uh, the, the use cases are, what customers want, or should they be going, going ahead now with their rollouts and their strategies and putting something in place that everybody, including customers, can build on? Um, so in a lot of cases, you know, a lot of them are very much focused, as I said, on building the 5G highway and haven't been spending as much time on building at the edge computing for the other applications. And there's really no time to waste in terms of getting ready for this because the end customer, the enterprise, they're not going to wait for somebody, you know, to get their, you know, business case straight. The only way to actually be successful at this point is to uh, be successful by doing it with customers, actually showing them you can deliver what they ask for in a simple, easy fashion, easy to consume technology. So they should be actually finding their partners for their specific use case and not try and do them all at once. You know, pick a focus area, you know, whether it's healthcare, whether it's factory automation, 
um, and go after those use cases and good good at it. It's kind of like one of the things we've always said to our customers is um, do something small, do it quickly, learn what you need to do to kind of improve how you do things, and then you'll be much more successful. Um, but if you're going to, you know, wait until that business case, you know, holds water the way that the old business cases have, um, there's many other people in the industry that are going to take this business like they have before. Um, right now, even best case, um, a lot of the industry analysts are saying that the amount of this, you know, very large revenue for edge services um, is going to go to somebody else besides the telco. They're basically stating that about 20% of this business is going to go to the telcos. That means 80% is going to somebody else, that being systems integrators and direct vendors um, and the hyperscalers as well. So there's a large, you know, uh, urge for the telcos to, you know, move quicker than they normally would and change how they go about doing things, change their processes so that they can deliver these services. And that's why some of them are actually saying, you know what? I need to get there quickly. So I need to partner with Amazon or Microsoft or Google and get some of these things done now and deliver that capability so they don't become just a connectivity after the fact um, for the application. Okay. Excellent insights there and, and great advice, Ian. Thanks very much for talking to us today about this. Uh, well, thanks, Ray, for having me and uh, great to be on these uh, great sessions with your, uh, your team this week.